up the gains on any of these microphones or do anything. We went over how this device works a little bit uh, yesterday and we will be working at first on the input side of this mixer. What I do have to tell you is that after we have recorded some quantity of these drums, remember I will not be able to play them back as loud through the loudspeakers as you will hear the drum in the room. And I can't change that and I can't help that and I'm not even sorry. <laughs> All right, but I did apply for enough money uh, from the capital uh, expenditure fund from the college to get cabling through into the other room uh, and set up the actual record station over in the other room. I don't know if I've gotten the money yet, so just saying. And then I would be able, then we wouldn't have that volume discrepancy because we would not be in the same room that the sound is taking place in. <clears throat> Excuse me. That being said, however, many of you who have only one room in which they work uh, are probably driving yourself crazy trying to make stuff play back as loud as it played in the room in the first place. And if, you know, like, look how big those drums are, you know, and when you're playing them back through your Mackie 824s, which are this big, how are you going to make that quantity of low frequency that loud? You can't. So uh, don't even try, because you'll end up having to repair your speakers, or I will end up having to repair your speakers, and that will make me mad. <coughs> Time for the vacuum cleaner. All right, is there coffee in that pot? Yes. And if there is, could some be in my cup? That would make me the happiest boy in the whole year. I'm going to sing a song. Please do. Oh, but not that song. Okay, good. Down. <laughs> yeah, what screen? Same screen we've been using for the last 35 years. Oh, the screen. This one. 